City Pages Beer Festival will be tapping the kegs for mm -hmm. 26 years wow. on Saturday. Mm -hmm. And here to talk about what's on tap for this year's festival is organizer Steve Madsen and Neil Miller of Head Flyer Brewing. Thanks so much for coming out yeah, and bringing all this beer us. here today. <laughs> Steve, let's get started by yeah. talking about the festival. How many different breweries will you have? We've got about 50 different breweries, mm -hmm. um, over 200 different beers. From all over Minnesota? All, in Minnesota, the country, too. We've got them as far uh -huh. from San Francisco all the way to New York. Cool. Uh, good oh, mix oh, of Minnesota and Wisconsin breweries, too. Food trucks, great live band down there too. So, cool. something for everybody. And Neil, you've been around for a year here yes. in Minneapolis. Tell us a bit, a little bit about Head Flyer. Uh, Head Flyer Brewing. We're located in Northeast Minneapolis. We got a really cool tap room. It's in a hundred-year-old building. A really unique space. Uh, old features and and new features as well. So we really love it. So, what are your specialties there? Well, this one right here is our juicy IPA called "It Was All a Dream." Uh, it features Citra and Eldorado hops. Uh, it kind of has that nice bright orange color and a little bit of citrusy uh, kick to it. Okay. And what makes it juicier than a regular IPA? Uh, it's just the hops that we use and kind of the coloration. It kind of is reminiscent of that orange juice um, oh. that you'll get, and it's very sweet and very light oh, yeah. for a for an IPA. That's very sweet. Yeah. yeah. You also brought a good. stout really down there too. Uh, yeah, this is our coconut stout. This comes from our Beyond the Door uh, small batch series. So we do small batches and we switch them out pretty frequently. This one's a coconut stout, so it uh, uses toasted coconut. Uh, it's smooth oh, and, and light for a you know a summer yeah. drinking dark beer. Yeah. yeah, I mean, here's the thing, like, people drink stouts in January, yep. in February, and you don't get it in the middle of summer, but that's not going to weigh you down. You can have yep. two of these. Mm -hmm. For sure, yeah, yeah. The, the drier stouts are definitely in style, and we'll see people that are drinking dark beer throughout the year, which is which is pretty cool. Steve, it's fun that this beer festival brings in some of the national breweries. Mm -hmm. I, we have a number of beer fests that only have Minnesota. They're right, they just right. focus on Minnesota, mm -hmm. right. Any, so we, any of the highlights, any of the uh, guys well, you're Well, yeah, we've got, like I said, New York, we've got Brooklyn that's there, yeah, and then sure. we've got oh. San Francisco, there's several yeah. different ones that wow. are coming. And the great thing about this beer fest that offsets it from the others is the location. Because yeah. you've got, you can make a day of it down at West End if the rain does come, like Matt keeps talking about. <laughs> you know, you can go, you can do your shopping, you can grab a bite yeah. to eat before or after and kind of make a day of it down there. So it's- Go see a movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah we're done at eight o'clock, so it's an early evening if you want to come down and check it out. Yeah, tickets, you have tickets, ticket sales? Are going yep, okay online so at far? beerfest.citypages.com. How much? They're only thirty-five dollars. Nice. And that's uh, you know it's a four-hour event, so you can try and variety of beers. You don't have to drink all you fifty, all, all of the beer. You know, no. We just pour you samples of them too. We actually so advise you don't. Taste, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that short night could turn into a long one depending right. on how you play things. Wow. Right. So the City Pages cool. Beer Thank Fest is going to be this Saturday. This Saturday. Let's hope for breaks in the rain. Four to eight p.m. at the West End in St. Louis Park. That timing's pretty good, actually. Yeah. For more information and to order tickets, you can just head on over to wcco.com. Yeah, I'm not pandering since you brought beer, but I do appreciate it. But yeah, most of the rain should be done by then. I think it's going to be more of an issue for the morning and then into the uh, early afternoon hours. And he's always right. Excellent. Always. Yes. Always <laughs> right. Always. <laughs> Neil, are you noticing any? I mean, obviously, IPAs are kind of the king of the craft beer. Yep. Obviously, uh, are you yep. seeing anything kind of emerging? I think lighter beers are really popular, especially with the weather that we've yeah. had. So this this honey wheat that we have is pretty good. Lagers are starting to become more and more yeah. popular. I think people yeah. want something they can sit on the patio and, and drink. So uh, that's kind of a mixture with Boat the beers. IPAs. Yeah. Yep, the absolutely. lagers, the pills are starting yep. to come back. Yeah, yeah. The timing sure. of this festival is great too because all the seasonals are coming out about this time. Yep. Right. So, so we can try them all. Yeah, it's the perfect spot to kind of Perfect. get there before summer gets too far down the road. And mm. Very good. All right, thanks, guys. Thank you. Yeah.